There's a lawsuit brewing against a ballot measure that would change how you're paid if you work for tips. Manuelita Beck with our political team breaks down what this means. This is an intention to deceive the voters. A group pushing to raise our minimum wage is suing over a competing ballot measure, one that would change how tipped workers are paid. We're here because we're filing a lawsuit against the legislature, against the state, for lying to voters and lying to workers, claiming that they are protecting them. You'll see the Tipped Workers Protection Act on your November ballot. It would change what's known as the tip credit. Right now, Arizona employers can pay tipped workers $11.35 an hour, $3 less than the hourly minimum wage. This ballot measure would change that to 75% of the minimum wage, or $10 and 76 cents an hour. It doesn't just reduce the minimum wage for tipped workers, it reduces it from what it is now. The group Raise the Wage AZ is gathering signatures for their own ballot measure. This one would get rid of the tip credit and raise the minimum wage to $18, meaning tipped workers would be paid all of their tips on top of the full minimum wage. Raise the Wage AZ says the name of the Tipped Workers Protection Act is confusing to voters. They know they can't beat the One Fair Wage Act at the ballot box. So what do they do? They try and cheat. The restaurant industry says getting rid of the tip credit will drive up costs for owners. It will bring harm to restaurants. It will absolutely add costs to restaurants because they will no longer have that tip credit. But a former busser who was gathering signatures for One Fair Wage says it's not fair to workers. It's not protecting people. When you're taking away that little bit of money you need to live, but it's uh, making it harder for people to live. Seven states currently don't allow a tip credit, including California and Nevada. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Manuelita Beck.